I am really glad to be here. So my strategy that I'm going to present is for dimensional study that is focused on biography driven structure. So let me start first with a short and a brief a meaningful concept that I thought. So the first one is the, let me tell you first that this is the content that we are going to see. We are going to see the, the objectives, the critical concept, the new strategy, the lesson plan, and also the, some reflections. So according to the first one, uh, as I told you before, biography driven instruction um, has two different processes conceptual process and situational process. Those two kind of uh, processes help us teachers to create a good um, classroom ecology. What is a classroom ecology? Classroom ecology helps, to, uh, helps the students to obtain uh, a good comprehensive input by interacting with um, partners and also by um, feeling comfortable to express in their ideas or thoughts. So uh, the, f the next one that we have, we have the content and language objective of the lesson. So I'm going to work with leisure activities. I think that it was kind of meaningful because according to this instruction, this instruction we supposed to um, teach students meaningful content to apply in, the, in their real life. That's why I decided to choose this topic. This is going to be applied by, uh, for 20 um, every production student, students and 10, 10 reproduction and four uh, speech emergence uh, students. Um, as activating the, the part, I already, I'm going to start from the connection part because it's supposed that, the, that yesterday I did this this stage. But I use uh, different playing cards to make your groups. And also, uh, I'm going to use some adverbs of frequency, but these uh, adverbs of frequency are going to be, um, are going to be learned undictably. Okay, so are you ready to start? Yes. Yeah, okay, so let's start. This is for, for, um, for, for, Bachillerato, so uh, that's why I decided to uh, just pay attention. Yeah. Okay. So good morning, class. How are you? Good. Perfect. Okay. So as you remember, yesterday we were working on leisure activities. Yeah. That is good to know because we are gonna learn how to we can interact with people. How we can say like, hey guy, come on, let's go, let's go to a party, or let's go, uh, let's do something. Do you wanna learn this in English? Yes. Right, it will be cool. So I was checking your, your sheets and you had really interesting thoughts about the words. Yeah? So I, we, we are already in groups, so I'm going to pass this. You are going to be working in groups. Each one of you are going to have two. Two. Each one of you. Yeah? Uh, Tanya, please. Could you please work with uh, Jenny. Jenny, please. Thank you, you both. Oh, you already have it? They are dead. This is a set of, of words, so you don't have to mix them. Everybody take two. And everybody take two. Thank you. Oh, you already have Yeah? Everyone has two? Yeah? Yes. No? Sorry. One. You have just one? Yeah, we have eight. Give me one. We have one. Oh, you. You want extra? Okay, here you go. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do, we are going to be sharing with your partners, with your group, we are going to be sharing the information that you already have. Yeah? So you're going to share, for example, if you have search on internet, you are going to say in groups the words that you already have. For example, I have a Facebook, chat, so you are going to be sharing. You have 30 seconds to share. Yeah? It's counting. Yeah? Share. Share quickly. Don't talk. 
Don't talk about your name yesterday. Remember that we are working in the same group. Yeah, okay, perfect. So let's check. Yeah, I need to pay attention. Okay, let's see with you, Jessica. What is the word that you have? Please. What it says word? You have the word. What is the word? What is TV? Yeah, what is the, the, your assumptions about Web TV? Yeah, right, perfect. So now we are going to see if we are right or wrong. You have to pay attention because each one of you are working with two different words. So you have to explain to your partner. That's why you have to pay attention, yeah? How we are going to start with a reading. See? What is that? What do you think? That is Miami. Miami. Right. Miami is a beach. Yeah, Miami is a beach. What is Miami? Do you know where it's Miami? Maybe in Asia. America. America. What is it? Uh, it's a city in the United States. Right, it's in the United States. It's so do you want to go to Miami? Yeah. I want to. I do you want to? Yeah. yeah. Okay, instead of being a study, I want to go to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice. So I'm going to be passing around this kind of um, article. And they are really, they are really interesting for you. And it's easy to understand, because I think that you are really smart and you can do it. Yeah? Everyone has a sheet of paper? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, Kelly? Yeah. You look excited today. OK, thank you. Everyone, does any? There's no extras? Nobody has an extra? OK, perfect. So what we are going to do? We are going to? Read. We are going to start reading. I know that each one of you have a leader. For example, in this case, uh, Tanya is a leader. There, um, Wilmer is the leader. Helen, please, wait. And in this one, uh, Christian is the leader. In this one, um, Jessica is the leader. And in that one, uh, Marcus is the leader, because you told me yesterday, remember? Yeah. So I'm going to trust on you. I'm going to trust you. And the leaders, what you have to do? You are going to uh, monitor that your partners were reading. Yeah? So what we are going to do? You are going to read. Each one of you are going to read each paragraph. One paragraph. Just one paragraph. And we are going to underline the, thing, the words that you see that they are pleasure activities. For example, I think for me, for me, I don't know if I'm correct or not, but for me, I think that hang out, it could be a leisure activity. But it's for me. Maybe for you, it's my mom. It could be a leisure activity. Yeah? Got it? Questions so far? So far, so good? Perfect. So let's do it. You have one minute to go. <laughs> It's I am Miami. Miami. I am 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 Miami. Okay, so I think that you are already finished. So let's see. We are gonna now. We are gonna read together, and we are gonna tell me the words, just the words that you think that they are leisure activities, right? Let's start with you. You are, um, you look like, like, like interesting, Roberto. Let's start with you. Yeah. Let's start with the first one. I'm in Miami. Right. I'm here with my mom for a week. It's a really cool city. Our, our hotel is next to Metro Zoo. The aquarium, the hotel has a big swimming pool. My mom and I usually hang out with our friends and swim there for two or three hours in the morning. Then we eat out in a nice restaurant. Mm -hmm. I always surf on internet to, to reserve a table. We had to either sit outside and eat because I like to watch TV because it was it has a very big screen. Thank you. So who can tell me uh, any leisure activity? Who can tell me? 
You can guess, okay. Uh, surf on the internet. Surf on the internet, perfect. Who can tell me? Watch Marilu. TV. Watch TV, perfect. Marilu, do you have another one? Magos, I'm sorry. Sit outside. Sit outside, perfect. So, okay, I think that the same thing you already did with the second and the third paragraph, right? Yeah. So, now let's continue. Yeah, I needed to take out your four dimensional study. Four dimensional study. These ones. You know, you know this one. Because yes. yesterday we were working in this. So, we have this one. Yeah? So, what we are going to do? According to your word. According to your word that you have, you are going to try to figure out again what is the meaning what, in a sentence. So, for example, first let me tell you, let me tell you the things. So I have thing, some, some pictures, right? Do you see? Yeah. So what we are going to do, for example, I'm going to show the meaning. And I don't think, because we are teenagers, I don't think that you don't need to explain the meaning. Because according to the picture, it's totally all right. So let's see. It's going to be our first vocabulary. Which one do you think that is the first one? What do you think? Surf on the internet. internet. So, surf on internet, right? Let's see if we are right or wrong. No. 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 Wrong. Let's see the next one. Yeah. Eat out. Yes. Eat out. Yeah, yes. It was to see if you were working well, and you were. Perfect. I did it. Just for you to know. Let's see the third one. What do you think? Go shopping. Go shopping. So, if this one is go shopping, what do you think that is the first one? Perfect. You are better than me. Good. You are great. You are so, so great. Let's see. The next one. What do you think? Hang out with friends. Hang out with friends. So, what would it be? Hang out. How long? Be with friends. friends. Spend time wow. with friends. Right. Perfect. Let's see. What do you think that is the next one? Watch, watch TV. TV. Yeah, let's see. Maybe I can be wrong. You know, <laughs> watch a movie. Oh. Almost. Yeah, watch a movie. And the last one. Go to the cinema. Yeah. Right. Go to the movies. Two movies. Yeah. So now what we are gonna do? The, the last thing. I need you to write your own sentence. You are gonna work by yourself. So you have one minute. Hurry, hurry, hurry up to write your own sentence. You see. Any using your 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 word that you have. For example, I have go shopping. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use something like this. See, we have you can use adverbs of frequency, saying always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, or never. So maybe I can say, I always go shopping. It could be. You can say, I usually um, hang out with friends. But I think that you always. Yeah, so right. We are in number two. We are in stage number two, remember. We are in stage number two. You have the numbers. We have to follow. It's kind of like a circle. Yeah, let's let's share. Let's share with you, Margaret. Okay, I always love hanging out with my friends every single weekend. Perfect. You are speech majors. Perfect. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. What is? Let's see. Uh, Let's see with you, Christian. Yeah, you are the leader of the group. Let's see with you. Help me with a sentence. Uh, uh, I always watch TV with my friends in my class. Right. If you have the word, listen to me. If you have the word, for example, I have go shopping. And Maria Gusta said, I go shopping every weekend. So what I'm going to do in the step three, I'm going to write my own my example from my classmate. Yeah? So let's let's do it together because we don't have time. You have break. So let's see, Marilu, help me with your sentence and the rest of you are gonna pay attention. I like to go shopping because of the same issue. Yeah, I, I like, like to go, go shopping, shopping with so my family. The students who have go shopping, who have go shopping in your sheets. Yeah, perfect. So when it says example from class, you have to write. And let's see the uh, let's see another one. Let's see Lorena with you. Let's see Lorena with you. Um, I usually hang out with my friends to the cinema. Right, hand out. Perfect. So, uh, this is my, my connection part because, uh, as you can see, we have different uh, steps where you can keep working and keep, work, keep, work, keep working and realize 
that leisure activities are. And as affirmation, the only uh, thing is that this one is going to be as a homework. And the same thing that we uh, have in the reading part, we're supposed to do this one as a uh, summative assessment. Why am I explaining this? Because according to my conclusion, I could say that um, this strategy is very help helpful because it can help um, students, first of all, to practice. Practice one, you can practice one, you can practice twice, and also the third time. You have a stage where you have to make a picture and realize the definition of leisure activities. I really like this strategy and also the topic that I was working because I think that for teenagers, that is the real thing that they want to learn in Ecuador, for example. And thank you so much. Thank you.